How's it going guys? My name is Jason. I'm an engineer here at AEM Performance Electronics and today I'm going to show you how to set up and calibrate a pressure sensor with your 6 channel CAN sensor module and your CD7 carbon dash. The first thing that we need to do in our dash design software is actually go to our CAN tab and we're going to click the import button and the import can slash DBC. That's going to open up our window with all of our DBC files in it. We're going to scroll down and select our CSM6 DBC file. We're going to hit open. So this is going to pop up a window showing all of the different can uh, channels that are coming across uh, from our six channel can sensor module. For this particular instance, we're only going to focus on our analog volts three channel, which is where we have our pressure sensor wired into. Uh, so I'm going to deselect all channels and just select analog volts three. Click OK. That's going to uh, populate here on our can uh, receive page. To kind of go back to the wiring uh, for a minute, uh, to wire in an analog pressure sender like this uh, 50 PSIA map sensor that I have here in my hand, uh, we need three wires to connect to that. Uh, we need our 5 volt VREF, which is pin 12 on our 12 pin TTM connector, our sensor ground, which is pin 11, and our analog volts three, which is pin seven. Uh, one thing to keep in mind if you're going to be adding multiple temperature and multiple analog uh, sensors to your six channel CAN sensor module, there's only one pin for sensor ground and one pin for five volt VREF. Uh, so when designing your harness, you wanna make sure that you add splices for those uh, two respective pins so you have enough uh, to go around to each of your sensors that you're installing. Uh, so now that we have our CAN configured, we need to go to our channels tab. And right now we only have uh, what has been pre-populated by bringing in the CAN channel, which is our analog volts uh, external three. We need to create a channel uh, for our manifold pressure sensor. So we're gonna click the plus sign down here. I'm gonna rename this channel to map. And I'm gonna select my display units as pressure. So I want to make sure I select pressure here, not pressure gauge, because pressure gauge is used for sensors uh, that have a zero value reference. Uh, for instance, our zero to 100 PSI or our zero to 150 PSI sensors, uh, where we, we would be using those for things like fuel pressure, oil pressure, um, where we want a zero reference. Uh, in the instance of manifold pressure, we want both a positive and a negative pressure. Uh, so we will select simply pressure and we're going to display uh, the units for this particular sensor in PSI since we uh, live here in the United States. We're going to click OK. Now we're going to go into our sensor library and up here in our category, uh, I'm going to show you we have an extensive library of sensors that are already pre-calibrated here. Um, but for our instance, we want to select map and we have a 30-2130-50. We click, click on that, and now that is set to that sensor. Uh, in the event that you have a sensor that is not in our sensor library, you can use our function table where your input value would be the uh, voltage uh, in from the sensor and the output would be the scaled or calibrated value uh, from the sensor. Typically you'd get this information from a data sheet or you can create your own if you're handy with things like that. Um, and also if you do have a sensor that is not in our sensor library and you have a data sheet for that, feel free to email us at emstech at aempower.com and we'd be happy to add that to our sensor library with our next release of Dash Design software. So we have our sensor selected from our sensor library. We wanna make sure that our primary input has been selected as our analog volts external three. We can go back to our layout page and we can select our value that we have displayed here for manifold pressure. Uh, we're gonna select our map PSI channel that we've created. And we also have the raw voltage displayed so we can see the relationship between volts and pressure. And we're going to plug this into our dash, plug our laptop with our USB cable that's provided with the dash. We're going to hit the F7 key 
to upload. Click upload. It's going to ask to save since I've made changes in the in the layout. All right, we are done. I'm going to close this, disconnect. And now we are showing a maximum of 55.7 PSI um, and 4.95 volts because that is the pull-up voltage on our signal wire because we have no sensor plugged in. So now you know how to set up a pressure sensor using your six channel CAN sensor module and your CD7 dash. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and leave a comment down below to let us know what other videos you'd like to see uh, related to dash design or configuring your dash or how to set up a sensor. Um, also, make sure to follow us on our social media at Facebook, Instagram at AEM Electronics. We went ahead and set the track record again. Every single race we've been faster and faster and faster and we set the track record.